It is a common misconception that wealth and good standing in society indicate closeness to Allah. Possessing wealth does not indicate one's love for Allah. Having a good reputation and a respected family in the community does not mean that Allah is closer or farther away from them. Allah has provided resources and dignity to both believers and non-believers, even those who reject and insult Him. Just like how no two trees grow to be exactly the same height in a field. The distribution of Allah's blessing and provision is listening for every person. And this difference is the result of the divine plan and action. Allah gives freely to whomever He chooses and increases or decreases someone's wealth as He pleases. It's not about what we think or desire, but about Allah's will. Allah's judgment of us cannot be based on material possessions or wealth that we have. The question of how to know if we are close to Allah is a big one and should not be determined by the gifts or blessings Allah has bestowed upon us. How will we know? Point 1. The focus should not be on the material blessing one has received from Allah but on the content of one's heart. There is love and hatred within us and it's important to examine whether what we love and hate aligns with what Allah loves and hates. This is the most important aspect to consider in determining our closeness to Allah. Point two is to examine the things you love within your own heart are continuously over, over months, over years, matching the things Allah loves and the things you hate are continuously matching the things Allah hates. This continuous measurement over time will give you an understanding of how close or far you are from Allah.